bakers. Yeah, it's like when I started this, I, you know, kind of wanted it to be kind of humorous, you know, and, and whatnot. Just kind of looking at, you know, the, the situation and, and doing the best you could to bring humor to this situation that we are, um, observing But since um, she murdered Bella, I I can't, I'm still like morose, you know, like just, I'm still just blah. I don't have the ability to see the humor in anything that she's doing right now. I, I mean, I'm still very much um, in the anger phase, I guess. Um, I, I don't think that, you know, in the stages of grief in this, I don't think that anybody can come to acceptance, except for her, of course. Um, I don't think that you can come to true acceptance because how can you accept a tragedy that there were options for a living, breathing, sweet animal other than what was presumably done. Um, I think that we are actively watching another tragedy unfold in that I don't see that Pom Pom acts normally. I don't know that she ever could because of the way that um, her environment is. You know, she thinks that her big video of her calling to Pom Pom to come up on the bed is some kind of an accomplishment. Like, okay, you've had that animal, you've had Pom Pom for what, you know, going on a freaking what, five to 10 years. And you think it's to be some grand accomplishment that you're going to work with her today to get her to jump up on your bed. Like, I understand that that made Irma squirt. Okay. Her little tiny bird wrists were just Robin that bean, okay? That, oh, oh, look at, look at, look at you, Lori. It's so sweet. Oh, pom pom. And these other whack jobs saying, oh, I love the way you talk to pom pom. It's so sweet. Like, if they think that, with as long as they've been watching to see this one little put on episode of her trying to get the dog to jump up on the bed is some kind of a hallmark moment. I truly don't know what is wrong with these people. I mean, you see these people, they come on and they're like, you know, they're, first, you know, that's their new show. You know, that's, the, that's their, their, their new little jive is, you know, oh, they're a big LBL supporter. And then it doesn't take them very long and they see like, um, okay, I'm not down for this. Like, you see these people that are totally into her, totally talk nice to her, and then they're gone. Like, and we know that, yeah, quite a few of us, uh, you know, started out liking her, and then they come over, and we know that. You know, we know that we get the bakers, you know, that are a lot of us, you know, started liking, well, I guess probably the majority of us, you know, saw her and saw something we saw that we liked, that was, you know, entertaining and then quickly saw that, okay, this isn't right. This isn't anything I want to support. Has anybody else seen this? Then you go on a search, you know, and that's how I did it. You know, I just basically did a Google search. You know, I didn't even have to go to the background route. And I mean, you can just see it, you know, what all the things this clown has done. And so, I mean, you certainly don't see people staying along, but you do see this little group of them that just stays and is just so enamored with their 428 pound elder toddler and just praising her for praising her for talking to her animal is now some kind of a big whoop did you I don't get it I don't get it I mean I just don't get it I I, I, I can't so um basically Basically, um, 
these other ones that have have been have, have bonded with the animals just like we have suddenly have forgotten about Bella and they're on to just praising her for trying to get Pom Pom to come into the bed? I mean, am I am I like missing something? I mean, like why is that praiseworthy? Why are we to this point where there's, you know, 9,800 people that watch and support this bizarre behavior? I don't get it. But anyway, why does Pom Pom shake like that? I don't know much about dogs. I... I'm honestly like I love dogs, but I honestly go into anaphylactic shock from them. I am not kidding you. Like one time I was in um this one time I was in yeah, uh uh-huh, I just did that. Um I was in Petco and getting <coughs> food for my other mouths, which are hypoallergenic, if you must know. And this devil dog like came in, broke out of its, you know, owner's reins and like just came into the Petco, pissed all over the automatic doors. Like there was piss flying everywhere and dripping. Like it was like pissing like a camel. I mean, it was a camel dog piss all over, piss dripping then from it. So then the automatic door started malfunctioning because it got all this dog piss dripping and coming out of it. So then you got the automatic door just going crazy. This huge dog coming over, you know, and going to just, you know, go and make friends and, you know, basically date rape any dog or woman in his presence. I mean, good Lord, this thing was huge. And, um, it came and gave me a greeting, you know, it was much taller than me. I was like, hi, okay, I guess you just basically date raped me. Do I get a first name? Yeah, you big dog. But no, I mean, it was huge. And within five minutes, one of my eyeballs started like coming out of its orbit. Like, like when I go into anaphylaxis, it's, it's not pretty. It's, um, one hand will go like the size of an oven mitt and the other eyeball will pop out. And I mean, my poor husband looked over at me and he's like, oh my God, you know, we've got to get you your EpiPen. What the, I'm like, yeah, I know. I mean, I mean the dog, you know, didn't even give me a kiss before it like fully like date raped on me and still pissing it all over everything and tearing up the store. But I mean, it was like five minutes flat from when the devil dog came in to when my eyeball was like popping out of its socket. And like, so that's why, I mean, I love dogs. You know, I, I, I love them from a distance and I, I, I wish that I could have a dog. And I know that there are options for, um, you know, um, people like me with allergies and stuff, but it's just with my other animals, it's just not, uh, not, not the situation that I could, uh, not one I could do right now. But anyway, so I love dogs. I'm not saying I don't. Um, but I just don't know what... I've never seen an animal shake the way that Pom Pom does. I guess I've just never seen animals behave the way that... I've never seen a human. If if indeed, we haven't gotten DNA on this hamburger face clown. Okay? But if we're assuming, because it's bipedal, that it walks on its hind legs, that it is technically human. If the 428 pound toddler is technically human, I've never seen a human act like her. So by default, I guess I've never seen animals that would act like that, right? Like, I mean, it's just a weird energy because she's so loud, rude, obnoxious that it just brings out anxiety in people around her. And I think that's where a lot of these bizarre public interactions happen with her because she automatically makes people nervous and animals nervous. And so I think that it's, it's a, it's a nervous thing. And so like she makes people nervous. So they'll say something like, Oh, nice claws. And she's like, oh yes, do you like them? Clank, clank, clank. Clank, clank. 
I do that for you. Clang, 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 clang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can play my nails. You see that? Oh, yeah. I can make a lot of noise with my nails. Oh, yeah. I do them myself. You want to know what I do? Yeah. And, like, I get them for basically free. I, like, go to, like, the Dollar Tree and I get the nail polish and then I put them all over my claws and slather them all around and then I return it the next day for a different color. So, it doesn't cost me a thing to do my own nails. Aren't they pretty? And everybody's like, oh, why did I talk? You know, it's that kind of stuff. But, but she turns it into something that it isn't because she's so socially awkward. So, basically, I think that Pom Pom has some type of horrible, horrible anxiety disorder. And I would too. I can't watch most of her videos because there's not enough blood pressure drugs in the world to, to like manage my anger and concerns when I watch her videos. I have to watch them very, very sparingly at the right time, at the right place, um, making sure that nobody that I love is around, you know, none of my animals are around. I mean, because the way that she speaks is very, very um, abrasive. And I think that Pom Pom because Pom Pom's never been toilet trained. Like, when people get a puppy, like, she probably got Pom Pom as a puppy, right? <clears throat> um, and she wanted something that was little so it stays small so she can, you know, maintain control and act like it's a puppy even though it's an elder puppy. Just like she's an elder toddler. Now Pom Pom is, by default, a, a pu an elder puppy because she wants to act like everything's a baby because she's a giant overgrown baby. <clears throat> Excuse me, now I'm doing the, the LBL throat clearing too, so the lardites are probably just flicking the bean on my video right now. Hello, lardites. <clears throat> How's that? So anyway, the way that I see it is I see that when she talks, Pom Pom starts shaking terribly. Like, she'll deny that she's cold, and okay, she lives in Arizona, so, you know, okay, she's maybe not cold. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I see people who care for their animals that are like that, put a blanket on them and cuddle them. Um, I don't know why she's shaking other than, yes, she needs to be to a vet because it could be something with her heart and kidneys. Okay, you know, yeah, a basic Google search will tell me that. But it's something more. It's, it's shaking. It is shaking. It is anxiety. And that is what she instilled in her own mother and her own son. And she medicated her son her son developed maladaptive behaviors because of her dysregulation of her moods and her voice intonation and her alcoholism and substance abuse disorder. And yes, yes, she's an addict and yes, she's an alcoholic and she can sit there and say that she isn't, but come on. Okay, come on. Let's call it for what it is. Yes, she gets addicted to anything it is. Right now it's gumballs. She couldn't get any man, even the triple ball man didn't want to teabag that hamburger face. But anyway, so I think that Pom Pom has like a severe anxiety reaction like anybody would. You know, she's around you, you just start shaking. Um, and, and quite truthfully, I mean, you know, I do believe that she's wondering what happened to Bella, you know, and we don't know what all she, we, what, we don't know what all Pom Pom's seen. Um, because we saw, you know, from the glimpse of that one camera, show, we know that she, you could hear Bella getting hit. You could hear Bella being forced down. You could hear it. And if Bella got up to stretch her legs, you know, or go to the bathroom like any living thing would, then, you know, she got screeched at and yelled at and punished, you know, Bella, get back in bed, get back in bed. So the only freedom that the animals have is when the bitch is gone. And, the, and then she goes somewhere to get away from them. It's just dysfunctional. Like, but then she wants to act like it's her big, oh, I have to come home so that I can spend some time with the animals and then do my nails and then look and see what I can copy on Etsy and then see if I can do some mukbang so I can, I can act like Trisha Paytas is also in the body of an Asian woman and I can become Trisha Paytas and a little Asian girl eating big amounts of food and I slurp and I'm gross anyway. So why don't I make some money on it? It's my dream. Signed, LBL. Okay? That's basically the thought pattern. So, it's sad. I mean, I... Shit, I don't know 
going and maybe she takes the pom-pom to the vet and the vet gives the poor dog something for anxiety and that's how she gets her grubby mitts on all the Xanax you know maybe it's prescribed for pom-pom I mean pom-pom could be you know her her ticket to drugs I don't know I mean it makes no sense makes zero zero sense as to anything that she does but why this dog would shake like that it's just sad I mean and and then her calling it a puppy and then using that one toy I mean my kids the other day said mom the cats have bigger toy boxes than us when we were little do they need this much yes they do. They have so many toys. They love their toys. They love them. They have so many to choose from for different moods, different days. Who knows what mood they're going to be in on. I'm not to judge. And so Pom Pom has this one nasty toy that she puts in her mouth and then makes it look like the skinny pig with that weird moldy hair growth on it. I don't, are the skinny pigs still alive or did she eat it too? Was that part of a mukbang once and I missed it? Who knows? So anyway, I think that, you know, I just can't be too humorous because I see Pom Pom being in distress and people praising this. It's just twisted. Like, oh, oh, yes, it's so sweet how you talk to her. Yeah. So there's this little tiny animal, you know, shaking to death and oh, it's wonderful. Like, let's praise that. Like, can... I, I don't know. Can anybody make sense of it? I mean, I am looking for reasons as to why why I see what I do. You know, can somebody like in the comments or PM me, let me know what other theory you have of why Pom Pom is shaking. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> other than that, Bakers, and um, people who have been so kind with their comments... I just love it. Thank you so much. I just needed to talk to somebody, you know, about some of the things that I've observed. Um, and it helps me to talk it through. And I hope that, you know, kind of trying to process it um, with a voice helps you guys too. Um, so have a great day, evening. Please let me know if you can figure out what the heck Pom Pom's doing. Um, we do still have quite a team, you know, that's calling and, um, you know, trying to prevent another tragedy, um, so that we can basically make sure that Bella's death wasn't in vain, that we can prove that, you know, there's definitely, uh, an urgent issue. Um, but as you know, when the apartment manager came to go and investigate to see if the claims were true, you know, that she's not paying per animal. She didn't ever report <clears throat> her animals, blah, 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 blah. She's got the apartment under Carol's name. You know, all this crap. Well, when the apartment manager came to just, you know, go and look and talk to her, <clears throat> then she pulled the, um, oh, I've got a stalker and I need a gun. Um... So does the person whose home you just went by need a gun too? Because you went by her house and put her private information on. But according to you, that's worthy of being shot to death. Um, yeah, doesn't make any sense at all now, does it? So anyway, um, please let me know if you can figure out the shaking. Um, and I will talk to you all another day. Thanks for listening.